what up guys Martin back with another video and then it's gonna be a two-part video today and guys I'm in my I think it's been a month on my diet and how do how's my face look a lot of people have been telling me my face is getting skinnier and uh, I'll put a picture on the screen of my weight this was like 162 I believe I'm not sure so I'll put it on the screen 526 right now so it's kind of late but guys my coach uh, told me to have a refeed day whenever this week so I so I decided to do I'm gonna do it tomorrow so I can film with you guys because I'm having over 400 grams of carbs I believe it's like 350 to 400 so I'm really excited because right now I'm only having like 160 170 around there is with me right now to the store to pick up a couple things for this refeed day and you know guys I'm gonna show you guys what I get and what I should recommend you guys uh, get for when you're trying to do a refeed a help a refeed is basically it's gonna help you break that plateau if you reach a certain weight loss goal because I was at 162 for a while and I stalled so it's time for a refeed you know oh help break that plateau and without further ado guys enjoy the video let's go oh, shit. Right, guys we made a quick pit stop big five all right guys so we're in big five right now and i'm trying to find a lifting belt because on tuesday is a competition as you guys seen in my last video like uh, last year they had the deadlifting donuts competition and yeah i won that so i'm gonna try to win again so on tuesday so i'm looking for a lifting belt right now so let's go let's find it here we go guys found some right here which i probably just might end up getting this one the most basic one gets the job done. Just this ring? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you. Alright, guys, as you guys just saw, I just picked up the lifting belt. Yeah. Brand new one. And some of you guys remember, uh, as I mentioned in there, like how last year. I did three plates, which is 315. You guys can watch it in my other video. I'll link it down below. And then, yeah, guys, I won first place on that. I'm on one mat, one rep max. And yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm trying to beat my max from last year. And then let's see if I can do it. So it's gonna be on Tuesday, and my friend's gonna record me, and his name's Gavin. You guys know who he is. He's gonna be recording that, and then you guys should see what my new max should be. So yeah, guys, with that being said, Let's go to Target right now and get some stuff. Let's go. Alright guys, so we have these, the Kodiak Cakes. I have these at the house already, but these are a good carb source. They have a decent amount of protein, 36 grams of carbs for a serving. They all varies because they all have different flavors, but I have some of these at the house and I'm definitely going to be making some of these. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so on refeed days, it's always best to keep your carbs high moderate to low fat and moderate to low protein and you always want to look for carb sources that have have low in fat and low to moderate protein and high in carbs so that's what i'm looking right now I look for some pasta right now i'm deciding on a way to get some shells or some rotoni i'm gonna decide in a bit or if you want some quick and convenient pasta right here you can just get one of these microwave little pasta just microwave for a minute and there you go simple and easy All right, guys, so we just got done at Target right now. I didn't even get that many things for this refeed, but these things will help me keep on going. And I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. So I'm about to go home now. And yeah, guys, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. All right, guys, so I just got home and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Sorry, guys, if I didn't really film. They, they caught me filming and they said I couldn't film, but anyways, whatever. So this is, I already had this, so this is a Kodiak Cakes Power Cakes, the peanut butter flavor. I mean, it's kind of high on fat. Hold on, the camera never wants to focus, but as you can see, it's 200 calories per serving, three and a half grams of fat, which is kind of high, and 30 grams of carbs, which is perfect, and then 40, 14 grams of protein, and about five fiber. So might have some of these for tomorrow morning. We'll see, we'll try to fit in the meat fat, but yeah, I got. I had these. I got them like a week ago. Still haven't used it for this refeed, so that's why I'm saving it. That's that. Have some English muffins. You know, haven't had these in forever, so I'm really excited to try these. 
All right, guys, it's 25 grams of carbs per muffin, so it's so you know that's pretty good. 25 grams of carbs for protein, one only one gram of fat. So I'll probably eat this in the morning before the before the gym sesh. I want to have it tomorrow, but I'll, you guys will see tomorrow. I got this lower sugar variety packet of Quaker oatmeal, and as you guys can see. It's the apple cinnamon, maple and brown sugar, and cinnamon spice. And each one of these packets have like 20 grams of carbs, 25. So it's perfect for this refeed. And the target about this pasta, I have some at the house already, like I mentioned. And the entire thing is 82 grams of carbs. As you guys can see, only four grams of fat for the entire thing. And 14 grams of protein, which is good on this refeed. I might have some ground beef with that tomorrow. And lastly, I got this Cheerio cereal, which is kind of boring. But it is what it is because it has some good ass macros. Sorry for my language. But as you guys can see, it, only, it has 20 grams of carbs per serving, 2 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber. So this is really good for this refeed. I might have like 4 to, four to 5 servings tomorrow depending on where my macros land. Guys, so that's going to be it for today's part of the video. I'm going to continue this video tomorrow and I'll show you guys what I eat and all that good stuff including a gym workout edit so without further ado guys i hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video give it a thumbs up you know you should give the video a thumbs up anyways because you know it's going to be a good one but without further ado guys i'll see you guys tomorrow peace tomorrow morning guys so it's currently the next day 10 17 july 19th and i i weighed in at 162 as you guys can see so i'm up a pound from yesterday so i'm gonna have my first meal i'm gonna break my fast pretty early since i have a lot of calories to work with so I got some almond milk right here and I'm about I'm gonna do two to three servings of Cheerios, a banana, and put some cinnamon in there. And it's gonna be my pre-workout meal. So I'm gonna eat this real quick and I'm gonna head to the gym and I'll show you guys what I'm doing at the gym. So without further ado guys, let's get the second part of the video started. Let's go. Three servings, which is 84 grams. As you guys can see, it's at zero, so I'm gonna put some in right now. It's actually quite a bit of cereal, holy crap. 74, 81. Perfect, 84 grams on the dot. And that's actually a pretty big bowl of cereal. And I haven't had a bowl of cereal in a while. So yeah guys, so I'm gonna put the almond milk now, which is about one cup. Alright guys, so this is my breakfast, so it's, it has that's actually a decent amount of calories, 405 calories, around like 70 carb I believe, and that was 80 grams of carbs, it's perfect for this pre-workout meal, only 11 protein, 9 fat, so it's just pure carbs, so I'm enjoy this guys, I'm gonna see you guys at the gym. I'm whip right now, and I had to get out of the house because after that cereal, I, I like, I don't know what it was, but I got really, really hungry. Like I was still hungry and I didn't want to just binge in there. So I just got out of the house, but now I'm going to go to the gym real quick. So I'm going to go through the gym right now. I'm going to hit a push day, I believe. And I'll show you guys of the, of the stuff on what I'm doing. I'll show you guys, I'll film some of that. I'll come back, make that post-workout meal. And you know, go, I'll show you guys, so don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead there now and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got done at the gym. So it's currently 12.03 right now. Sorry guys, I didn't really film because it was pretty packed today. But it was just in and out, so it was like an hour workout. I didn't do cardio because I'm going to do cardio when I go home. I'm going to walk my dog for about like 45 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys my post-workout meal, which is going to be high on carbs because I need my carbs up. Because later on today, I'm going to go to work. But I'm going to show you my meal before I go to work. So all that good stuff. And without further ado, guys, I'm going to go home, walk my dog, and I'll show you guys my post-workout meal. So let's go. I'll take this guy. Yogi, come here. All right, guys. So it's my post-workout meal. So I just got back from like an hour walk for walking my dog. And it's currently 117 and right here I got a whole entire container of egg whites which is 50 grams of protein I got two egg McMuffins not egg McMuffins well I'm gonna make some egg McMuffins you know just my own just two English muffins which is around like 50 carb right there and it's 510 calories for this entire meal and I'm at 915 and I still got 1200 left 
So I'm gonna enjoy this guys and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit for my next meal. Ooh, look at that. And I put a little bit of ketchup on there, so. I guess so I'm, I'm a bit of a time crunch right now, so I'm gonna make my meal, my third meal right now, because I gotta go to work in a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm gonna eat, and I'll show you guys my last meal when I come back from work. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna use one packet of cinnamon spice, a little sugar, and we're gonna use also one pack of maple and brown sugar. So something simple and quick because I gotta go to work in a bit. I forgot to mention, I took a little nap because for some reason all those cars were, got me tired after from the gym. So I'm gonna eat this real quick. And I might add some peanut butter to it so so I don't eat it just like that, even though it's just good like that. But yeah, here you go guys, look. It's 120 calories per packet, so it's not too bad. So I'm just gonna put some water in it, and then microwave it, and we're good. All right guys. there and you're gonna probably put it put it in the microwave for about like two minutes or so and then it should be done all right I'll check in with you guys in a bit when it's done oh my god I can't do it I can't do it guys all right guys, so I just finished in the microwave as you guys can see. So I'm gonna add a, a tablespoon of peanut butter since I still have some, since I still have lots of fats left. So we're gonna do one serving, which, oh. Anyways guys, as I was saying, since I still have plenty of fats left, I'm gonna use one serving of peanut butter, which is 16 grams. Uh, 17, that's close enough. All right guys, so I'm gonna put it on, on the, on my oatmeal here. Yeah guys, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm about to head to work in a bit, which is at 4.30 I get in. Oh my god, this camera never wants to focus. But yeah guys, I'm gonna show you the macros for this. So, it's gonna be... So it's 120 for both of the packets, and then 95 calories for the tablespoon of peanut butter. Alright guys, here's the final product. Two packets of oatmeal, different flavors, the maple brown and cinnamon spice. I put some peanut butter in there and some Walden Farm syrup. It's about to go down. I still got plenty of calories to work with after this. Mm. Alright guys, so I lied. So I'm going to have this tuna packet because I need my I need my protein up. It's kind of low right now. So it's 17 grams of protein, 0 carbs, and 0 0.5 fat. Practically 0 grams of fat. But anyway guys, we're at 1300 right now. I need 800 left and my macros as of right now are 97 protein, 182 carb, 23 fat, which I still got a lot of room to play with carbs and a lot of room with fat, and still need a decent amount of protein. But I'm gonna eat this, go to work, and I'll come back. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat for my final meal. All right guys, just got home from work. It's currently 10:17. still pretty late, but this refeed's not done yet. So I'm gonna make uh, some protein banana bread, which is, which I mentioned in the other video how I'm gonna make a recipe on this and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now. So without further ado guys, let's get this started. This one banana right here. Uh, I'm gonna use three servings of this Kodiak Cakes peanut butter flavor since I still have a lot of carbs to work with and protein. So, you know, it's gonna fit good in my macros. I'm gonna use some Walden Farm syrup, you know, just to add some flavor. And then I'm gonna add what's gonna make it even more good is this mini chocolate chips, semi-sweet. So I'm gonna use about a serving of this. I'm gonna use some baking powder to make it fluff up, like to make it a little, make it poofier so it can expand. And then you can also use egg whites for a substitute, as it says in the box right here. You can use an egg or egg whites, but I don't have that much protein left after I use these three servings. So, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna show you guys, and then let's continue this refeed. Alright, guys, second step is gonna add. Um, since I'm doing three servings of the Kodiak case, it's going to equal to 159 grams of this mix here. Alright guys, as you can see, 159 grams, and it's pretty a decent amount. And then, you're going to add your chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, which is going to be 14 grams or so. 15. Yeah, 
there we go guys so there's 14 grams of chocolate chips as you guys can see there's peanut butter chocolate chips in there too All right, after that guys we're gonna have five grams of baking powder in here all right there we go five grams not six grams but that's okay all right guys next step you're gonna put the banana in a separate bowl so i'm just gonna open it here you're gonna put the banana in the bowl here and then what you're gonna do is just mash it up all right guys the finished product should be like that it's all mushy and stuff so you're gonna put the other bowl on the food scale and you're just gonna put the banana to see how much it is which should be equal to 100 grams 80 to 100 grams around there and yeah guys see perfect 80 grams so we're gonna put water mix it all together and it's time to go in the oven and with the with the trick with this guys you don't want to add too much water or too little because you don't want to make it too runny or too hard you know so you're just gonna put let's just gonna start off with that and I'm gonna start mixing it all right guys this should be the consistency you want you see not too thick not too runny so I'm gonna put this in the on the tray and I'm gonna put it in the oven let's go Alright guys, taste test time. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. So good. You guys get to give it a shot. Give it a thumb, give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the recipe video. But anyways guys, that's gonna conclude today's videos. And I'm gonna show you guys where my macros landed off or left off. So they left off at 140 gram 140 grams of protein, which is Three, three above, which is perfect. Exactly 300 grams of carbs, which I was supposed to hit at 305, but it's all good. We had 38 grams of fat, which is also perfect. And we hit 2,068 calories, so that's like around perfect. And it's reefy day, I freaking enjoyed it. I need to have more days like this, but let's see what my weight is tomorrow morning. And yeah guys, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below and give it a like as it helps the channel it helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And without further ado guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later guys.